everybody. So this is how to teach your horse to sit using the target method. Um, just using your target training. So you want to make sure they have a really good lay down cue and they understand it. Now, unfortunately, day one's footage, I can't re... I can't get it. I can't regain it. I don't know why. Um, so all you're going to do, this is day two, and this is as far as we've gotten. This is today, Thursday. So what you're going to do is when you get your horse to lay down, you're going to take your target, once they are really good at target training, and you're just going to stick it above their nose. And any tiny little movement, which you'll see here in a minute, any tiny little movement upwards, um, you're going to give them a treat. Even if they're quick, you're going to try and do it quickly. But any little push-up like that, just give them a treat and back away. Don't give them a treat when they get up, because if you give them a treat when they get up, that's going to teach them when they get up, that's the reward. So you can see here, she's staying down a little longer. She's barely pushing herself up, but she's only getting treats when she's attempting to push herself up. Now, go at your own pace with this trick. It's taken Kamani two days, and you guys will see the end result, what we're at. I love there how she's holding herself up, and she's not jumping up and rushing up. Um, Kamani is not one of those horses that when she lays down, and I love here she's still connected with me while we're taking a break. Kamani is not one of those horses that when she lays down, when she gets up, she kind of sits in a position. She just jumps up. So with a horse that sits normally when they get up, you could probably easily train this with the lay down and when they're getting up, give them a treat. Um, like I'm doing right there. So again, you're just going to hold the whip or target above their nose and entice them to kind of reach for it. And when they do like this, give them the reward. I'm asking a little bit more because this is day two, so she's already got the basics down. And this is pretty much what we did the night before. Know your horse, know their limits. This is very difficult for them to lay down, get up, lay down, get up. And I love right there, she's still connected with me. And Kamani was actually sweating at the end of the session. I don't actually know how long we did this for. If they want to lay down flat or roll, please allow them to. You want them to feel comfortable and be willing with you while they're laying down. So this is a really easy trick for her right now because we're at the basics. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to entice her up by putting the whip above her nose. When she goes up, I'm going to give her a treat. When I put it down, I'm going to ask her to kind of rest and stay there with me. And then I'm going to lift it up again above her and give her a treat when she reaches. If she gets up, she does not get a reward. Right there when she gets up, I don't give her a reward. I walk away. So she starts to learn this right here is the correct answer. Other than that, you don't get a reward. There's not very many steps really besides to lay them down and kind of just slowly entice them up. And when they reach, give them a treat. If they jump up, don't give them a treat. They go slow and kind of think about it. You give them that reward. Because if you, like I said earlier, if you reward them every single time they're getting up, you're teaching them getting up is the correct answer. You want to teach them sit is the correct answer right there. She got up. She didn't get a treat. But I love how she's following and staying enticed with me. Now, today, Thursday, was our second day of doing this, which is the footage you're seeing now. And I think we did this for an hour, 20 minutes. So you can see she's still enticed with me. She's not leaving. I'm not having to tie her up or which I wouldn't anyways or do anything like that to keep her with me she's sticking with me and wanting to do this so here now another thing I want to say is if they go to do this which is <laughs> naughty she kind of gets annoyed and kicks out at me so I spank her on the ass and make her work so make them work a little bit you don't want to allow that if it's one thing if they want to get pissy and leave and they don't want to do it, that's perfectly fine, but they don't get to kick out at you. The other thing is you want to be on whatever side their head is tipped into. Because uh, if you're on the opposite side, it's going to be harder for them to turn their neck while they're down like this. And they're probably just going to jump up. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't try it on the other side with her. I stayed on whatever side that her head was tipped in. You can see here she's holding herself up. She's really trying. She's going slow. And if your horse gets up fast, just continue to do this. This will tire them out. This is really hard work for them. As I said, Kamani was sweating. On top of it, this will get your lay down cues better. And it'll get them to trust you more on the ground when they're laying down. Because they're so used to you being there when they're laying down. 
Now, she is not perfect at this yet. I can't just lay her down, tap her, and have her go into a sit. And that's why I wanted to film it and show you guys now. Because I feel like whenever I show you guys a trick... I love how slow she went there. I feel like whenever I show you guys a trick, I show you the finished product. And I never really get to show you the beginning. So this is the beginning. I'm going to give her a couple days off from this. And we're going to do some writing. When I do these... Uh, tricks with her like this where she's holding herself up like this. I love this. She's holding herself into a sit. It's really hard work so I won't write them that day. Um, but in a couple of days I'll go back and try this again and maybe film it and do like an update video. But I never get to show the beginning so this is the beginning. If they leave you just kind of push them off and invite them back in. If they're not coming back in or paying attention they're more than likely saying hey I'm kind of mentally checked out I'm done with this. But you can see she's enticed with me. I leave every single time she gets up because I don't want her to think getting up is the right answer. I want her to think sitting is the right answer. So when she sits or does anything like this where she halfway goes up quarter way goes up she gets a treat. Um, I'm really bad at explaining things. Make sure you guys stick stick around for Friday's video, tomorrow's video. It is a video about Kamani. Um, and I hope that this made sense and you enjoyed it. Again, just use your target training skills and put the whip above their nose. When they reach for it, give them a treat. If they jump up, don't give them a treat. Just keep trying. You guys will get it. This is day two with Kamani on sitting.